All right, welcome back to the channel. So, Errol Spence may knock out Manny Pacquiao, says Danny Garcia, and thinks that it might actually be a very, very short night. Now, the reason that he's brought that up is because people were asking him what his next move was, who he thought were the best in the welterweight division, and this topic came up. But this is a great illustration, I think, in a time of that, in this time of transition that we're in in boxing, that we are in a pretty much look. Your guy can be as great as he wanted to be many years ago, but right now it's put up or shut up. Either fight these guys or go to the Hall of Fame, <laughs> one or the other, right? So let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. So as a hardcore boxing fan, and by I mean hardcore boxing fan, I mean I'm just pretty much around boxing. Yeah, lately I've been focused on some other things, other business ventures and things like that. But pretty much my number one, my number one uh, uh, focus is boxing. Love it, love it, love it. Definitely my number one favorite sport. So I understand that people get attached to fighters, right? I get attached to, I've gotten attached to older fighters, you know, fighters who were coming up when I was young, uh, when I was, you know, in my 20s, 30s, 40s, right? Right now, I still get attached to certain fighters, not as much as I used to in the past, uh, but more now, I still, you know, there's that, there was several fighters in boxing, like the Gary Russell Juniors, the Errol Spences, Deontay Wilders, that I just really, really, uh, young guys like Jerron Ennis, that I really just really support and want to see these guys do well in their career. Um, but at the same, and I'm sure that many of you guys have experienced the same thing. If you're being honest with yourself, most of these conversations about boxing being, Oh, I'm just a hundred percent unbiased. I'm hundred. Stop it, man. You got an opinion. You're sharing your opinion. I'm sharing my opinion. Give me a break with all of this, you know, you know, on your soapbox, holier, holier than now nonsense. And one of the perfect examples of that in boxing, in my opinion, is pretty much is the treatment of Manny Pacquiao, Right. At this stage, at this stage in his career, Danny Garcia, who was one of the best fight, one of the best fighters at 147 for the last several years, um, he was a top guy at 140 pounds. Just recently had a fight with Errol Smith Jr. Um, was asked what he thought about what the outcome, you know, what the outcome of the fight between Manny Pacquiao and um, um, between Manny Pacquiao and Errol Spence would be. And he says, look, man, it really depends, right? But, you know, Manny Pacquiao, this is pretty much what he said. If Manny Pacquiao is the old Manny Pacquiao, if Manny Pacquiao is the Manny Pacquiao that, you know, is as fresh as he can be, that fought, you know, Keith, you know, Keith Thurman, he says, yeah, that could be an entertaining fight. But, you know, if this is the, you know, an old version of Manny Pacquiao that comes into the ring, look, man, it could very, very well be a very, very short night. Right. And he, he said a very short night. So I think that this is a good time to talk about, especially as it comes to pound for pound lists and, you know, who we really the fights we really want to see. You know, if you are really into, you know, just seeing Floyd Mayweather fight because you're a really big Floyd Mayweather Jr. fan. I don't have any problem with you paying for the Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, Jake Paul fight. In fact, I'm going to pay for the Jake, uh, the Floyd Mayweather Jr. Jake Paul fight because, hey, man, why not, man? <laughs> you know what I mean? Another freak show it is, but hey, another freak show that is going to get my dough because I like Floyd. I don't know how many more times I'm going to be able to see Floyd walk in and out of a ring. It's just, you know, it's just work, worth it for me. Similar feeling I have about pretty much any Manny Pacquiao fight moving forward. I'm going to watch Manny Pacquiao fight. I'm going to support him with my money because I believe that Manny Pacquiao still at the stage that he's in is a talent. And again, just like I felt with Larry Bird late in Larry Bird's career or any other, like I felt about Kobe Bryant after his career, I wound up missing him a lot after his career was over, right? So Manny Pacquiao, you know, I wasn't really big on Manny Pacquiao and a lot of the, you know, during that whole you know, what they would call pack tarred area, you know, era where they would have just so much heat on anybody that would say anything about Manny Pacquiao. That really kind of turned me off from him during that time. But during that whole period of time, I really did appreciate the guy's skill set, right? So that is me giving as much credit as I possibly can give to Manny Pacquiao. But when we're talking about the future of the sport of boxing, 
we're not talking about the, 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 like I said, the freak show type of fights or the side, you know, the side show type of things that are going on, you know, that are entertaining in and of themselves, no doubt, right? With the Jake Pauls and the Logan Paul stuff and the, um, even the exhibition fights, which I think are a higher level, right? Like the Mike Tyson, uh, Roy Jones Jr., or even the Stephen Cunningham when he was in there fighting whoever that, you, that's a, a higher level of fighting, right? But still, it's not, it's really not what is going to drive the sport forward and also expose really young boxing fans. And I mean, young boxing fans. There are boxing fans that are five and six years old, right? Who are, who are in the gym training, who are also very knowledgeable about the fighters that are there. Now, as they get older, more of their peers will, you know, get into the sport just because of, you know, their fathers and mothers or whatever being into the sport. But as we sit and we look at what's going to happen for these kids, Look, I don't think we should be sitting on top of generations of a generation of fighters by continuing to oversell the guys that, that were there before them, right? So Errol Spence Jr. right now is just a better fighter than Manny Pacquiao. He's a better fighter in pretty much every regard than Manny Pacquiao, with the grand exception, the grand exception being, man, my phone would do something like go to Crazy Story and say, let that Mac fly. Ugh. Oh man, I can't even edit it out. I don't get it. <laughs> but anyway, you get my you get my point, man. Um, Errol Spence Jr. At any point in time in his career, I'm telling you, any point in time in Manny Pacquiao's career, and Errol, if Errol Spence Jr. is in his prime, not any point, but if Errol Spence Jr. is in his prime, and Manny Pacquiao fights a prime Errol Spence Jr., I'm taking Errol Spence Jr. over Manny Pacquiao. Because Man Errol Spence Jr. has the style to beat Manny Pacquiao. Number one, it's a southpaw on southpaw matchup. Number two, Errol Spence Jr. is significantly, significantly bigger than Manny Pacquiao. He's excellent at cutting off the ring, and he has volumes of punches. And he can box on the outside, and he can box on, and he can box on the inside. Now, Manny Pacquiao is definitely going to cause a lot of problems with his, you know, very herky jerky, awkward style. But for me, it, I think that is going to look like. Errol Spence, Errol Spence Jr. versus Manny Pacquiao, if they are both in their prime, is going to look like Air, Manny Pacquiao versus uh, Juan Manuel Marquez, with the exception that you got a much bigger, faster, aggressive <laughs> Juan Manuel Marquez. I can see Manny, I can see uh, Manny pa uh, Errol Spence Jr. just wearing at that dude's body, man, wearing at his body. Even if you look at the Joshua Claudi fight, but. That's talking about in their prime. And I'm telling you, I, that when you have the best guy in, 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 in an era in a weight division, and then you go look at somebody, in the, you have to understand these guys are both fighting the best in their, the best in their, um, in their eras, right? I'm taking Errol Spence Jr., who's a natural 147 pounder and probably can go all the way up to 160 over the smaller, quicker guy, Manny Pacquiao, who beat a lot of smaller guys and got titles. Manny Pacquiao, I still to this don't, don't think he's ever beaten a guy that has been the size, that is really the size of an Errol Spence. And that's including Oscar, that's including Oscar De La Hoya, right? So I, you know, the talk about Manny Pacquiao versus Errol Spence Jr., number one, if Manny Pacquiao wants to be a, you know, a, a boxer boxer, no, he gave up his belt, so I guess he really doesn't have that pressure anymore, the, you know, of giving up his belt. But just the, 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 cup, the media's coverage of him to the exclusion of the excellent fighters that are around right now, that would, is kind of bothers me. So I would very much love to see Errol Spence Jr. fight Manny Pacquiao, if nothing else, for just to have that torch passed, as they say, and so we can move on to the next gener the next generation and really start giving these guys credit because we got guys like Jerron Ennis who are moving up, right? And if Errol Spence Jr. doesn't get his full credit and full shine and then Jerron Ennis comes, fights him, how is the winner of that fight really going to be, you know, uh, revered in the boxing world that they should for the, the way that they should be? And that is the best fighters that are in the world, right? But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think. And with that, I'm out. Peace.